Hey, so should you pick software engineering or DevOps engineering as your career path? It actually really doesn't matter. In either career path, you're gonna have flavors of the other. As a software engineer, you still have to deploy your code and you can use DevOps practices to do so. As a DevOps engineer, you're still gonna have to write code to solve some problems. And more importantly, this is not a one-time permanent life-altering decision. So try one, and if you decide to change later, then do it. Don't overthink this. Hey, what's up? I'm Will Button, and this is DevOps for Developers, where I teach you how to use DevOps skills to build and deploy software, whether you are a software developer or you're working on your DevOps career to support software developers. Now, I've talked about this topic in a previous video, and I'm gonna elaborate on it some more here, and I might even contradict some of the things I said in that video, and that's actually okay. That's one of the points I'm making in this video, is that nothing is written in stone forever. So choosing between software engineering and DevOps is not a once per lifetime decision. It's not like you're boarding a rocket ship on a one-way trip to Mars, never to return. And also, as you're about to see, it's not really a decision at all because software engineers and DevOps engineers are actually solving the same problem, the difference being which tool you pick up to do the job. Before we dive deeper into this though, I wanna tell you this, you don't need to enroll in college or sign up for some expensive bootcamp to get started. I actually think that's the wrong way to go. Instead, Spend some time on YouTube and check out some of the great videos on my channel and some of the other channels as well, learning about the tools that you will use and the problems that you will solve. But that's hard though, right? I get it. There's a lot of tools and technologies and terms to understand, but it really is worth the effort. Start with simple things like, what does a DevOps engineer actually do? And you may come across something like DevOps engineers use tools like Terraform to build infrastructure, whatever. Or software engineers use programming languages like Rust to build websites. Well, that's great. Because either way, there's probably some terms that you don't know in there. So that's your next step is to dig into what those terms are and just keep going down the rabbit hole until you feel like you have an understanding of what that role actually does for a living. Next, you're gonna to wanna to sit down at your keyboard and say, I'm gonna do that thing, whatever that thing that you've identified is. That's also gonna leave you with more questions because you probably aren't gonna know how to do that thing. So it's back to Google or YouTube to search, how do I, whatever the thing is you're looking for. And over time, you're gonna start developing some skills as well as a better idea of what the role involves. That's gonna give you some experience-based feedback about whether or not this is something that you want to pursue further. If it is, that's great. And it may be time to look into the paid education resources like college or courses, or you may choose to continue forging your own path. Speaking of which, if that's the route you wanna take, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out my DevOps roadmap it's built as a choose-your-own-adventure guide to DevOps where you can pick any of the key concepts of DevOps, learn more about it, and then see how it ties into all the other facets of DevOps. The end result is you build your own unique learning plan tailored to your interests, and you can grab a copy for free in the description down below. But let's go back to something I said earlier in this video. This is not a permanent life altering decision. One common misconception is that you have to choose DevOps or software engineering. And once you're on that team, you're forbidden from communicating with the enemy. In reality, it's not like that at all. Software engineers and DevOps engineers are actually solving the same problems, but working on different aspects of it. Think of it like building a railroad. You have some engineers who are laying the tracks and some engineers that are building the train. But no matter which team you're on, you have to know what the other team is building or you'll end up with trains built for tracks that are 48 inches wide while the tracks that were built are only 32 inches wide. If we actually visualize this as a Venn diagram, the overlap between the two is pretty significant. So no matter which path you think you wanna follow, 
you have to know how the other side is working to be successful. Let me give you some examples here. Let's say you're the software engineer building a new application for your company, and you may want to use Docker containers to run your app. But if the DevOps engineers building the infrastructure don't have anything that can run a Docker container, you're gonna end up with problems. The only way to discover this is to work closely with the DevOps team to understand what capabilities and tools they have to offer. Looking at the other side of this, as a DevOps engineer, you'll want to know what applications your software engineers are building. You may discover they're building an API that uses a message queue like RabbitMQ to publish messages. This means that you either need to make sure that you have a message queue available for them or work with them to discover an alternate solution. And these examples continue to all the other aspects of delivering software using DevOps principles like monitoring and logging, observability, and auto-scaling. Let's take logging, for example. As a software engineer, you know that you need to generate logs to understand what your application is doing. As a DevOps engineer, you know that there are going to be logs coming from that application. Now the two of you need to get together and agree on how those logs are generated and delivered. Are they just going to write the logs to standard out? Or will the logs be pushed to a logging service like Datadog or Splunk from within the app? The key takeaway here is that both teams are working together to solve the same problem. The last point I want to make on this topic is the lack of specialization. As a software engineer, you know your code has got to get deployed. It's kind of the way it works, right? And it's not until it actually is deployed that your customers can start realizing the value of the application you've created. So you need to be familiar with DevOps practices to start building a mental model of what that deployment might look like. From a DevOps perspective, you know that the code written by the developers is coming your way. What kind of code is it? Is it a Python app that gets executed by runtime? Or is it Rust or Go that gets compiled to a binary? These questions will influence how you build and deploy the application. So it means you need to be familiar with the code to know what options are available to you. And that's the point I really wanted to make. Whether you're pursuing software engineering or DevOps engineering, it's not mutually exclusive. You have to be familiar with both, which means as you gain more experience, you may find that you like one more than the other, and as a result, you're pretty much free to switch back and forth between the two teams. So let's wrap this up by summarizing the points from this video. It's not a one-time choice where you decide your career path and your fate is sealed. There's actually a ton of overlap between those two roles and career paths. It's worth your time and effort to explore these on your own before committing time and money to college or paid courses. I know how hard that is, and there can be a lot of open-end questions, but spending the time to figure it out is valuable insight and is gonna set you up for success when you decide what to pursue because you've already done the hard work of figuring out if this is what you want to do. No matter which choice you make, you're gonna spend time and effort working on the other discipline. There's no way to be successful long-term without understanding both the software process and the DevOps process. So let me know what questions you have in the comments down below and be sure you like and subscribe so you get notified every time I have a random thought and say, hey, I should probably make a video on that. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.